is needed. All right, so that about wraps up the majority of the shapes that we have for our high poly street light. Now, one last little thing that I will do is since we want to have this street light angle to the left just a little bit off to the side, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, a side view and I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the geometry that make up that stoplight and then go ahead and make sure that I deselect the, uh, the pole itself. And I'm going to go ahead and group all of this stuff together. I'm going to go ahead and hit group and just group and we're going to call this uh, stoplight. Press OK. And so now, uh, just like what we did near the very beginning, if we look at it from a very top view, I can go ahead and take advantage of that working pivot one more time. I'm going to go ahead and click on Use Working Pivot, and that's under the Hierarchy tab. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this group uh, about 90 degrees to the left over here. I'm going to go ahead and make this all of this an instance. Go ahead and press OK. And then back in Perspective View, um, I'm going to make sure I go ahead and exit Working Pivot. And then all I need to do here is just kind of move this stuff down just slightly so that now we have a, a second version of that light uh, off to the side. And that's going to look really nice. All right, so if I go ahead and pull the camera back, uh, that about wraps up our lesson on the introduction to high poly modeling. In this video, we covered a lot of the basics of how to apply edge control to your objects and get really nice high quality results using the Turbo Smooth modifier. You know, feel free to play around with any of these settings that we covered and see what sort of results you come up with. Also, be sure to check out our other videos, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com.